Join our hosts as they test the versatility of the Schaefer S270, a hybrid bay style boat that's designed to get you offshore, but also allows you to navigate shallower waters, all in comfort and style. The Schaefer S270 has an overall length of 27 feet, a beam of 9 feet 4 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 600. Designed with the Coastal Angler in mind, she has a draft of 17 inches, a dead rise of 18 degrees, a dry weight of 5,900 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 170 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. In today's boat market, there's a proliferation of bay hybrid style boats. You see them everywhere you go on the water. It's a very popular brand and for good reason. It's a really practical boat for coastal fishing. Today we're joined by Ben Schaefer from Schaefer Boats. We're gonna have a look at his new S270. This is something totally unique to Schaefer and it's a really exciting time for these guys. They're building a boat that offers you all the functionality of a modern bay style hybrid boat, but maintains the classic look and the lines that the Schaefer is known for. All right, let's talk a little bit about the fishability on the S270. This boat is really set up, as we said, to do a couple of different things, offshore and inshore at the same time. There's 11 rod holders back here. There's rods all the way around the gunnels, and there's six extra rods in the T-top, too, to store rods. They've got you covered in that department right there. Now, below deck on the S270, there's two 60-inch long fish boxes, which are really going to come in handy in an offshore setting where you might catch a long fish, like a big kingfish or a wahoo, and there's plenty of room on both sides to keep those kind of fish full. Now, if you set it up with the outrigger spread and you go offshore and fish, you can fish a trolling spread, you can fish a live bait spread behind the boat. If you decide you want to stop and set up a drift out there and fish like we're doing, you can do that as well. It's a very versatile platform in that regard. Now, the S270's got two live wells. It's got a 40-gallon live well right here and a 55-gallon live well on the helm, and that's plenty of capacity for anybody fishing on a boat this size. You're never going to run out of space to keep a bunch of bait alive. Here at the bow, I wanted to have the family with us, and today we actually have the Schaefer family, which is amazing. Check this out, I thought this was a really cool design. Wendy, do you mind just popping up real quick? So we had the seat rest, backrest, facing this way, so Wendy was able to lay out and relax. But check this out, you just flip this out the other way, and now you've got a whole new different seat arrangement which either underway or just sitting here and relaxing and hanging out at the sandbar. It works both ways. Underneath me, we have lots of storage. Starting right here, there's two separate large storage boxes, but right here, this whole area is an insulated fish box. Today, we're using it as storage, and that's all the storage you really need on a boat. That has our towels, our bags. We didn't mean have to use these two boxes today. Along with all the storage up here at the bow, we also have two more storage compartments right behind these two seats. To me, having a lot of storage is necessary. Down here on the deck, we actually have another storage box, which is great for your wet gear. Along with, right here in front of the console, a seat for two. But under the seat, we have the cooler. And with this cooler in particular, there's no latches. You just take your hand and pull up, and that's great, especially having kids. Inside the console, we have plenty of room for a head. Today, we don't have a head, which I prefer because it gives you that big open space in there, whether it's for more storage or just if there's a rainstorm, you've got little ones that need to hide out in there. Trust me, they fit in there. Another area the Schaefer does not disappoint in is performance. The S270 is offered in a few different configurations power-wise. You can get it with either a single motor or twin motors. The model we're running today came with a single 400 on a scissor bracket, and this boat runs like a champ. Now, at 30 miles an hour cruising, 4,000 RPMs, we saw 2.3 miles a gallon efficiency, which is really good. This boat will go over 50 miles an hour wide open throttle. And this boat draws about 18 inches of water, and it's really feasible for you to get up into 18 to 2 feet of water and, you know, fish around in the shallow water. It's not a polling skip, obviously, but you can get back in some sneaky spots in a boat like this if you're careful, and on the same day, go out into 3 to 4 foot seas and go drifting and try and catch a sailfish. 
Now mechanically, something that I really appreciate on this Schaefer is the way the boat's laid out. The systems are very simple, they're rigged really clean. All the electrical components on the boat, the plumbing is all easy to reach, everything's easy to get to. It's wired and plumbed super, super smartly, and it's easy for somebody with even a moderate degree of ability to access their systems and deal with a situation if one should arise. You can tell there's a lot of thought that went into the build and the design on this boat way before it ever got to the point where they put the first one in the water. Now this is an excellent example of the versatility of this boat. The S270 is really made to do a bunch of different things and we've had a day here today, Lori. We've been offshore drifting on the wrecks. We've done a little bit of intracoastal cruising. We went to the sandbar and ate lunch and on our way back we're passing this point right here and up in two or three feet of water we see a couple of snook pop and bait on the point so we're able to get in here in relatively shallow water stick the power pole down and now we're drifting a couple of baits past this point trying to get a snook bite so you're really able to do a bunch of different things in this boat that's why they call it a hybrid she's gorgeous i love her lines i love the hardware how everything is laid out she just has good style and the finish work is impeccable. I mean, everything about the boat is just the, the caliber of custom quality building that you expect from a shop like Schaefer Boats. I mean, it's written all over this boat. And if you walk up, if you know, you walk up and look at this boat from the dock, there's something about it that makes you want to walk over there and take a closer look.